Howdy, everyone. Alrighty, so I've got the uh, servo installation underway, and you can see what I had talked about earlier. Here's the connection on the back of the servo, and you can see there's not a lot of distance here between the skin and the, and the connection for that chrome plastic connector clamshell. So I went ahead and um, put some shrink wrap in here to help uh, act as a strain relief for the, for the uh, I think these are 20 gauge, it might even be 22 gauge wires. So my plan is to, you can see I've got a uh, tie wrap mount, self-adhesive mount here. I'm going to tie wrap these wires to that. Actually, I'm not going to tie wrap it. I'm going to use lacing cord. So I'll lace cord this in place here, and that will keep this off of the skin. This won't be touching or rubbing on anything. I've already got some of the wiring for my wingtip lights started. i got to finish pulling all of this through, but I've got the wingtip wiring coming across and then it is going to pass through this bulkhead where it will join up with this cabling for the servo and then I'll run all of that as a bundle on out to the uh, wing root. So what I'm working on right now is this bracket here. This is a bracket this was that flat metal L-shaped bracket. It's now been bent, and I'm just trying to get it finely fitted into here. There is an, an aluminum spacer that goes in here. I'm fooling with that, and I'm fooling with the bracket, just trying to get this bent correctly so I can get it bolted back here and get it bolted to the servo here. Once I get that finished, I'm going to go ahead and finish running the wires for the lights and for this servo. And then just like I did in the other wing, I'll anchor everything down really nice. And uh, then I'll start figuring out the uh, mechanical linkage that goes here. All right. All right. Moving on. Howdy, everyone. Alrighty, so back at the roll servo install. So the servo is in. Of course, it's bolted down. It's not safety wired yet. The back support bracket is in, and it's got its spacer. Now, one thing that I had to do, I'm trying to find a way to show it. I guess I can't. Below the spacer, Below the spacer down on this side, there are a couple of small screws that have been safety wired. And that screw and that little bit of safety wire was interfering with the spacer. And the spacer would not lay flat against this face. So I had to notch the spacer to clear that little screw head and that safety wire. No big deal. Just a, something to remember because the bolt wouldn't go in. I kept every time I'd put the bolt through the bracket and through the spacer, it was always at an angle and it wouldn't thread in. When I take the bracket and the spacer out just to check the hole, it would thread in by hand. So I discovered that the spacer was hanging up on that screw and it wasn't allowing it to sit flush against this face. So I had to notch it a little bit. No big deal, just something to make note of. So now that is all in and tight. And I've decided, instead of running my wire here around this way, like I had originally planned, I was going to run it around this side, I decided to run it this way. So I've got my, my tie wrap sticky pad over here. And like I said, I'm going to anchor the wires down with um, lacing cord. So now I've got 
my connection here for the uh, zip tip light wing tip lights and that bundle runs through and then it's going to loop around out of the way and continue on down the wing the roll servo bundle will come around this back way and I'm going to use this other um, grommet hole here uh, there goes my battery again I'll make this quick so my plan is to run one bundle through one set of uh, holes and the other bundle for the servo through its own separate set and I'll explain why here in a minute but let me uh, put this on charge and then I'll get back to you howdy everyone well, while the camera battery was charging, I went ahead and I finished up the wiring on this wing. So again, this is the roll servo mounted in the wing. Of course, I still have to safety wire the bolts. But uh, the wiring is done. You can see that I've got this run here. This is the wiring for the zip tip, wing tip lights. That's all in, and then the wire bundle for the servo comes around the back, and it goes through its own separate grommet. And then both bundles, the light bundle and the servo bundle, they run separate all the way down the wing and exit here individually in their own little bundles so there's a reason I did that and it's basically just for peace of mind because I did I've got to finish clamping these down you can see I've got I've got the bundle the individual bundles uh, wrapped with the uh, the string uh, what do I want to call that the um, I always draw a blank on that lacing cord that's what it is so you can see I've got the bundles laced and I've got them anchored to the spar here they come around to clear the servo and to clear the bell crank but what I forgot to do I still need to anchor this servo bundle I've got it anchored up to this point, but I got to go ahead and anchor it here and here. So I still need to do that. But the reason I separated them, the two bundles, is just peace of mind because I talked to the guys at GRT and I specifically asked if I could run the servo bundle with the uh, wingtip light bundle. And I told them that the wingtip lights included landing takeoff or landing, taxi lights, strobes, navigation lights, if it was okay to run both bundles together in a group. And I was told that you shouldn't have a problem. So, and I asked, I said, so I don't need to worry about twisted pair, shielding, anything like that. And the response I got was, nope, shouldn't be a problem. That didn't give me a very warm, fuzzy feeling, so I just went ahead and ran the bundles, as you see, somewhat separate. The holes were already in the ribs. I've already got the grommets for the ribs, so I figured why not just run them separate. So I don't know what I'm going to do at this point when I have to run these bundles through the fuselage. I, you know, I don't know how how easy it's going to be to keep them separate, and then of course I've got. The wiring from the other wing, you know, I, I don't know how easy it's going to be to keep things separated, but for now, this is how it's going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and anchor down those two points for the servo bundle like I just showed you, and I'm going to go ahead and work on this linkage. So let me dive into that, and then I'll get back to you.